Hello everyone, this is Bam from Bam Craft Creation. And today I have another challenge, well, for myself and for you too. Um, I did, um, I got this a Hobby Lobby um, for 99 cents in clearance. And when I bought this, I, I didn't know what I was gonna use it for, but it has some like invitation cards. This is the back, this is the front and it had these envelopes. So today I was um, trying to see what I, I can create with this and I came up with this. I use it for an envelope flip book. I did this um, small paper clip, um, outer paper clip to close the flap. And this is what I came up with. I only use two envelopes and then with the cards, with the invitation cards, I did some um, journaling cards. There's another one here that I did with the invitations. I did a tag. I think I did two tags. This is, uh, I did a, a bookmark. And then I also use the um, invitation cards for the um, for this tuck spot here, like a pocket, for this pocket and, and this tuck spot. I just um, decorated with paper. And then um, this here, this pocket, it was from the other flap. I cut the other flap from the envelope, I cut it off and I did a small pocket. So this is the inside. And this is the outside. So I use um, two envelopes and I think I did use like um, maybe two or three of the invitation cards. So um, I wanna create something in camera with you. And I wanna challenge yourself to um, look around your house and see if you have some envelopes and that uh, you may have extra at home. And maybe some um, greeting cards. If you don't have something like this, you can maybe use greeting cards or maybe an envelope like this. I got this one as white invitation envelope at the tree store for 75 cents. So maybe you have some like this at home that you can use. So I challenge yourself to look for a home for some envelopes and maybe some greeting cards that you have laying around that you're not using. Um, and just create something with me and we're gonna create this um, envelope flip book. So um, I'm gonna start with the envelope. I only gonna use two. Let me get two out of the um, out here and I'm gonna put the, everything to the side. And also I was um, doing the video on this and it, it got cut off so I decided to do a new one. So I don't have this paper anymore and the washi tape that I used to decorate this envelope. So I went through my papers, um, my 12 by 12 paper pads, and I found this paper that I like. And also I received before, um, this is um, like a scrapbook paper pack that I received. I win this, um, um, I think it was um, a drawing that they did in a group as Botanical Garden from Cartavela Paper Co Co Company. Um, and this is the Botanical Garden collection and I had never used this. So I'm gonna try to use, I forgot that I had this. Looking for the paper, I found this. So I may use some of this for, um, the journaling cards and this is a pretty paper. It's double sided and this is the stickers. I may use some of the ones that have pink on it. So um, I'm going to use some of this to decorate and this is the paper that I'm going to use. Um, I already went and cut off some of the paper that I'm going to use um, to cover some parts of the envelope and the size for this is six and a half by five. So um, I'm just gonna get this out of the way while we work on the envelopes. So I hope that you can create something with me today. 
and if you don't have the materials right now just um watch the video and save it and then go around the house and maybe you can find um the materials that you need for making this project i'm just gonna cut off a little bit of this envelope i think i'm gonna cut a quarter of each side off Just to open the envelope, um, and I don't want it this size. I already have it. Um, as I, that was what I did with the other that I already made. So I already had the measurements. So I'm just gonna do the same thing with this envelope. But uh, you will cut off depending on the size of your envelope. If they're too small, like the other one that is smaller, just cut um, a little bit from each side and um, to open the envelope and you know to work better with the flip book making the flip book okay so I cut off um, the sides and I'm gonna take this out of the way if you are wondering um, what is uh, the brand of this paper cutter this is we are memory keepers and I got it in clearance at Joan Fabric. I don't, I haven't seen this one anywhere. And this was the only one left there. And I got it, I think for 70% off. So um, I have other paper cutter, but when I saw this one that it have already the um, scoreboard and everything, I decided to buy it. But I got it 70% uh, off in clearance on Joan Fabric. So let me get that out of the way and let's work with the envelopes. Sorry, I just want to use this paper here. So when you open your envelope, you're going to get this part here. And this is what I cut off for uh, making that um, pocket, the smaller pocket that we did. Let me show you here. This pocket, I just cut off this part here and I, I use that part for a pocket and then from this envelope I kept this part for the flap so um, to glue this together we're gonna just glue this side here and it's gonna look like this and this is one of the parts that we're gonna cover and then on the back we're gonna cover this too. So this two panel, we're gonna cover with paper and you just glue this together and you, uh, after you glue this together, you get your, um, your flip book. So let's glue this together. And I'm gonna use my glue stick. I'm, I wanna make sure that is correctly um, aligned before I glue it. Okay, so let me glue this side first. And then I just will glue around there um, after I glue this part. And I'm gonna try to do this video not too long because the other one that I was making for the first one that I made, it was, I guess, too long. Uh, I don't know if it, I ran out of space from my phone. So um, I lost the video. Well, I, it, it got cut off and, you know, I lost everything that I was um, already recording. So I, on this one, I'm just gonna uh, show you how to decorate it, you know, just the basic and to do maybe a tag or two in the journaling card. And then I will decorate it um, outside the camera 
when I'm not recording. That way we don't take too long um, making this video. So I'm just gonna cut this flap, the excess of this flap to make the, um, I'm gonna cut it at two and a half to make the, uh, the pocket. So we don't need this part anymore. Let me try, well, let me keep it for something if we need it later on, but I don't think that I'm gonna use it. So I think that's gonna be the, um, everything that I'm gonna cut from here, from the envelopes. And we're gonna cover this and the back, and then we're gonna cover the flap and the pocket. That's what I, I only gonna cover. So we're gonna cover this part, this part, and then the flaps. This one for the here, for the pocket, and then the flap to open and close it. So that's the only parts that we're gonna close. Um, I, we're gonna add paper, because I wanna keep this pretty paper and these flowers here for the rest of the envelope. So let me get the paper that I'm gonna use. This one I wanna use in the back. And then here I, I will use this, this one. And I also have some um, lace, some trim. This is for the tags. And I have some washi tape. I may use this one since so I ran out of the other one. I got this washi tapes as washi tape sample and a swap. So I wanna use some of those, I have a lot. And I have some in this card, but I don't know if I'm gonna use these ones now. Oh, uh, let me check. Let me get all the ones that I have here that I may um, use instead of those. So I don't know yet, I may use this one, so I may use both, um, let's see. So let me glue this um, paper here. And I challenge you to use um, your paper pads. I had this paper pads for a long time, 12 by 12, six by six paper pads. But sometimes I use it once and then I didn't use it anymore, or I haven't used them. So I wanna challenge you to use things that you have at home. And if you are holding on to paper pads, this is a good way to use those paper pads that we keep holding on to them for the next project. And we always say for the next project and we never use them. So um, let's get those paper pads out and create something beautiful and you can use it for this project. Okay. Um, I should move it. Let me move it. A little, a little bit more to the left because um, I have more space open here than the other side. So let me just add glue it again. Let me just clean this here. Let's try again. I just want the same amount of space showing on both sides. Okay, now it's better. Oh, my goodness, I keep... Is my paper crooked? <laughs> Sorry for that. Let me try again. Let's try again. You know when you're recording, everything happens. That is what is happening to me right now. 
Okay. Now it's better. And let's do the back. So when I close this, the back is gonna be showing. So I wanna cover this. So this is gonna be um, where I'm gonna put this other piece of paper. And then I will cover this with maybe this one, or I may use the same pattern that I'm using inside. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna use this inside, the, I'm sorry, outside on this flap. And then inside I will use this color, the other paper. So let's glue this one. And make sure that you get glue all the way around to the corners and the edges of the paper. getting out of camera, I'm sorry. Let me see if I have better luck with this one. And then, there you go. Just making sure that it's glued together. So now I'm gonna work on this flap here and we're gonna cut a piece of this paper for the out, for the outside, and then the other one. Let me get it here for the inside. This one for the inside. But this paper is too small. Let me get the other pieces. Let's work with this ones. I'm just gonna trace it around with my pencil. Okay, so I have this one ready and then we're gonna do this one. I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna trace the flap of the envelope here on the paper. Wait, oh my goodness, I'm sorry. Okay, there you go. And let me just cut the pieces of paper that we just traced. to go I hope you're enjoying my videos and, and please subscribe to my channel like um, I say before I'm just starting this journey and your um, subscription meaning a lot to me so as you can subscribe and let your friends know that there's a new craft channel out there on YouTube and maybe you can be part of helping me grow my own, you know, my channel. So let's 
glue these ones down. And this is an easy project um, and quick project. It's just the decoration and then the journaling cards and everything that you're gonna make for to put inside of your flip book. It will take long, but um, this part of making the envelope flip book is real um, easy. Okay. Let's glue the other side. And you can use any type of glue that you have at home. You can use your um, glue gun, um, liquid, pay, um, liquid glue. Like this is the other one that I use, quick dry tacky glue. Or you can use a glue stick. Um, use what you have at home available at home. So we had the flap ready. I'm just gonna trim this a little bit here. And make sure that this is. Now we're gonna work on this on this pocket, and for the pocket, I think I'm gonna use the same paper as here. Yes, I'm gonna use the same paper, or I may use. Let me see if I use this one. I think I'm gonna use this one for this pocket. Just to use um, here and here the same paper. So I'm just gonna use this one on this pocket, then this on this, on the, this different one here. And then um, I have another paper that I wanna use to do the pocket. Cause on this one, I use, oh, I'm gonna use the um, invitation card. So you see on this one, I did this flap and this flap here with the same paper. And I used the same paper in the middle, but I wanted to do this one different. So um, I'm just gonna do this flap and this flap with the same paper. So let me cut the paper. And I'm just gonna trace it. Let me make sure. Okay, so let's trace this. And this paper is um, thicker than the other one that I used um, on the other flip book, but I don't have more of that paper. That paper was like, it was um, a regular paper. It wasn't cardstock and this is cardstock. So it's thicker, but you work with what you have at home, so it doesn't matter. So I'm just using what I have available for me, and that way I can use some of those um, 12 by 12 paper that I've been holding on to them for so long. I don't even remember. If you ask me where I got this paper, I don't. It may be. I don't. I don't remember if it was Michael. But um, I had to check it out, but I, I've been having this paper for the longest, so I cannot even tell you. 
where I got it from. Usually I got my paper from Hobby Lobby or maybe um, Michael's. But lately I, I'm getting my paper from Hobby Lobby all the time because they always had that 50% discount on paper. So let me make sure. Okay, so let me make sure that this is sticking to my paper, to my envelope. Okay, and let me just um, glue this little corners here. That way when you put something on your pocket, um, it won't get stuck with these little pieces here. Okay, so we're ready to close our pocket, but before we close the pocket, I want to do a little notch here. And I want to distress the edges of the pocket before I glue my pocket down. Okay, so I have my distress ink here in pink. I'm going to use this one. And for right now, I'm only going to distress the pocket and I will distress the envelope later when and done completely with the envelope. But right now I only want to do this part of the envelope before I glue it down. And to close my pocket, I'm going to use um, my double-sided tape. Okay. Let me just do this part here. So my pocket is distressed. So let me just close this pocket and I'm gonna use this um, double-sided tape to close my pocket. There's something stuck there. My God, today I'm so crooked, but I will just cut off the excess when I'm done here. You know, maybe it's easier if I do it this way instead of the difficult way. There you go, that was easier. And let me just trim this a little piece here. So I'm ready to close my little pocket. So this is what we have so far. We had the pocket here, we covered this, then we decorated our pocket, um, flap and then the paper in the back. And I'm gonna do a pocket here. I should have um, distressed these edges of this paper, but I forgot, so. It is what it is. So let me get one of the jar, um, one of the invitation card here, and I'm gonna do the pocket right here for this one. And I'm gonna cut this um, this size three inches. So now we have this pocket here that we're gonna use for the meal. And I'm just gonna cut this little notch here and distress the edges before we add the pocket to our flip book. Um, I may do another video later um, where I use some greeting cards to do journaling cards with pocket. 
So um, you can use those greeting cards that you've been holding on to them at home to do a lot of things because you can always, you know, cover one, the, uh, the side that had the print from your greeting card. Uh, you can even use it as um, a gen journaling card. So we may, um, I will, um, maybe in another video, I will show you how to do that. So we can keep um, creating with things that we have at home. So for this pocket, I'm gonna um, put tape on three sides, um, both sides here, and then on the bottom of the pocket. put on this side so so we're adding tape to both sides of the pocket and then on the bottom to close the pocket okay so let me make sure that my tape is sticking to my um, piece of cardboard. And then I will remove the backing of the tape. And I got this tool at Dollar Tree. And it's, it's a really good help to removing this part of the tape. Because sometimes I was, um, before I was struggling to get this out of, you know, the backing of the tape, but now it's so easy with that um, tool. Okay, so let me make sure that is placed correctly. Okay, so we had the other pocket. So we had the pocket here, the pocket here, and then um, I'm gonna do the um, tuck spot here. Cause that way we have something on the side, on the bottom, and then on the top. So let me get my other piece of, um, and I think I'm gonna cut right here, and I'm just gonna cover it with, um, with a piece of paper. I think I want it down here on this line here. So let me cut this piece here. And then this piece that you have left is the one that we're gonna do. This is the pocket that we're gonna use here. So we use, so far we have used one of these um, invitation cards. So this I'm gonna cover with the same paper as this one. Let me see how I did this one. Okay, so I may use I think I'm gonna use on this one because I don't want um use the same paper that um so um near to the to that flap, so I may cover it with this on this corner here that we had this piece of paper. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Maybe, no, I wanna use this corner here so I can use that part. Okay, so I'm gonna glue this to this piece of paper. Okay, 
So let me um, distress the edges for this. And for this one, I'm only going to add the tape here and here. And we're going to have that dark spot here to put something here. So let me, let me distress this here before I add that. the tape and I'm just gonna add a piece of tape on this side and then a piece of tape on this side to clean my scissors they're getting stuck with all the tape that i've been <laughs> cutting with them i have more scissors but i i don't know why i i love this pair of scissors they are from the paper studio from hobby lobby so let me remove the backing of the tape so we can stuck our tuck spot so we can add it to our Envelope flip book. Oops. And I don't want it to be too close to where the fold is. So that's perfect there. So we created our tuck spot here. So now we have two pockets and a tuck spot, and then we're gonna have one more pocket right here. And I'm gonna cover this one with, I may leave it like this. Let me see my other one. It fell on the floor. Yeah, I, I'm gonna leave it like this. Like I left this one, I cut this one um, bigger than the other one that I just cut, so this one is smaller. But I just gonna cut a little bit of the of this one on the top, so it's not that high up there. You see, and I may cut it a little bit here too. So let's start with this first. It's gonna be my other pocket. And I may cut it a little bit here too. I don't like it. Okay, I like it better now. So let me distress the edges before we add the pocket to our um, flip book. This one I'm gonna add tape here and here I'm gonna leave this side open, these two sides. So um, I'm only gonna add tape here and in the bottom. Yeah, it's gonna go this way. So tape here and here. You just wanna make sure before I stick my tape. And 
in here in the bottom. Okay, so now we have another spot to put something in there. So you can put something here, something here, and then something here. Okay, so I, now I'm going to distress the edges of the whole envelope. <clears throat> it's just going to go around the envelope and distress all the edges. And we're pr practically done with the envelope. So I'm just gonna maybe add some lace to this flap here to decorate it a little bit. And then um, afterward, um, after I'm done with the video, I may um, decorate it a little bit more. And I may um, show you a picture. I may post a picture later on of the final product. Let me cut this here. a little bit of the tape sticking out from the pocket that we created inside. So I'm just gonna finish here with the envelope, just distressing the edges. go around with the envelope and distress everywhere I think these invitations were for a baby shower for a girl baby shower I should do this more quietly like this, sorry. I'm making a lot of noise. It's just that this is glass and um, I just order a, a different mat um, that is no glass. I think it's a silicone um, mat. And then I order a logo, like my logo, a larger one to um, glue it to, I will add it to my, um, to the mat that I just ordered from Amazon. And um, that way I don't have this glass here. And it's gonna be easier to clean the silicone mat um, from the glue and everything. The other one, I put a, a piece of washi tape. I may do the same thing here so I can cover this white part of the envelope. Almost done. Okay, and this is the last part that we're gonna distress. I think this is it. Yeah. So we're done with the distressing right now. And I want to use this washi tape here because I'm trying to use all this washi tape that I have received on Happy Mail and, and swaps 
all these samples that I had never used. So I used the other tape that I used on the other one that I made before. It was from this, it was here. Somebody sent it to me and I had never used it before. So, and I don't know how long I have been holding to this tape. I have a lot of washi tape that I haven't even used. So it's time to use our washi tapes. I don't like it just on this side, so I'm just gonna put some on this side too. But let me just be careful because it's now it's getting stuck. I just don't want to use this part that got ripped off here. So I'm trying to get a piece that is not cut off. So on this flap, let me see if I have enough um, washi tape to use it here. Let me see what I have left here. Maybe I can use this one too, the whole thing. But it's just so stuck together that it's breaking off. So let me see if I can get it out here without ripping off the edge. Okay, so our envelope is done. Um, we are just gonna do um, maybe a tag, a book, a bookmark and a journaling card. Or oh, I may use, um, Let me use some of these um, journaling cards here. I'm gonna use this one here. one that say love so that one is gonna go here no I want to put the tag here so maybe this one will go here 
I'm just gonna round the corners and um, distress the edges. I think I'm gonna put this one here, let's see. Then I'm gonna do a tag here and maybe the bookmark for here. Um, and I also wanted to do something here on the flap. I have this I think I'm gonna use here. Yeah, I like the other one. You can hardly see it, but I like it better. So let me do that right now. I got this silicone applicator at uh, Dollar Tree. I think it's for it's an applicator for um, face mask. So that way I don't burn the tip of my fingers. Okay, and let me see. Okay, and then we're gonna add some here too. And we're done with the lace. I may add, let me see, maybe a little piece here. So we had um, the same thing going on on the three pins inside. So we're done with this. Let me just round the corners for this. I really like this paper in the back. So this one is gonna go here again. And let me round the corners for this one. And distress the edges. This 
is how it looks so far. I really like this one better than the other one. I like the colors and the combination of the paper. So um, I don't know how long this video has been. Um, it's almost an hour. So um, I'm just gonna stop here, but I just gonna do a tag from um, for here from this. And I'm gonna do like a bookmark here or maybe another tag. So this is all for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it's too long, but um, I just wanted to show you the whole process to decorate the flip book and you know, and decoration. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel and um, please leave a comment below um, if you have any question or you wanna leave a comment, just leave it below. Thank you, happy crafting, have a good night.